I've created these BPMN diagrams with ChatGPT. Yes, you've heard it right. I finally cracked the code of creating consistent BPMN diagrams. And by the end of this video, you will know how to do it too. And as a bonus, I'll include my verification tool so that you can save time in verifying responses of ChatGPT. Let's go. Hey friend, my name is Pascal and I'm an IT consultant based in the Netherlands. And for the past year, I've been trying to create BPMN diagrams with the help of AI. I had created use case diagrams, GAN charts, flow charts, and more with AI powered chat applications. But BPMN was something that AI was consistently failing at. But now I have the solution, so pay close attention. There are two things that you need to make this work. A paid subscription to ChatGPT, well, access to 01. And two, you need the website demo.bpmn.io or any other BPMN modeler that allows importing BPMN diagrams. All right, so let's look at my process so that you can create these diagrams as well. And if you don't want to follow along, I have a shortcut on my Patreon page, link in the description. All right, my process consists out of three simple steps. Model, process flow, and then XML template creation. Let's start with the model. For the model, I am using ChatGPT-01, OpenAI's newest model that is more capable of reasoning. And this model reasons before actually performing the task. And then it does its best to deliver output that is actually close to what you want. So far, any other model that I've tried before is less capable and cannot provide the same level of output. To use this model, you'll need a ChatGPT Plus subscription. Let's open up ChatGPT by going to chatgpt.com and make sure that you're logged in and start a new chat with 01. And then make sure that you have selected 01 preview. And now we have ChatGPT open, we need to tell it what kind of process it needs to create a diagram of. So in order to tell ChatGPT more about your process, you need to define what the process actually looks like. And I have created a template prompt for this. So I'll be using that template throughout the video in creating different diagrams. But important is that you carefully map out the process, mentioning tasks, pools, message flows, and gateways. Oh, and to give you a tip, you can also just ask any version of GPT to help you out on this. You can just tell it your complete process via voice or text, and then just tell it to map it to tasks, pools, message flows, and gateways. I basically asked ChatGPT to describe me a BPM process of citizens applying for a grant at the organization Grantee. Then I said, write it down in a format like below. I specified where the format starts and where the format ends. And that is very important with the new preview model because then it knows what it needs to consider in its answer. And then I basically mentioned the process name and after listing all of this in the template, I just went ahead and pressed enter and this is the response I got. ChatGPT answered with, here's a description of a process for citizens applying for a grant through the organization Granty. It mentioned the process name, it listed some participants or different pools, the start event, tasks, gateways, and even the tasks within the gateway. So now you need to save this output because we're going to use it in our next step. And that is the XML creation. And this is the step where we're actually going to use 01 to create the XML for us. After that, I'll show you some examples of the diagrams I've created with this method. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can quickly validate these BPMM files. But first, let's create the actual XML. Copy your process, create a new chat, and make sure that the new O1 preview is selected. The first thing that we need to do is that we need to prime ChatGPT. We need to tell it that it is now in BPMN mode. How I did that, I basically asked, do you know BPMN 2.0 XML as specified on this website? And I provided it the website to the BPMN notation. And I asked it to do a crawl of the website and all of the underlying documents so that it now knows how to use BPMN. And as you can see, yeah, it is familiar with BPMN. It basically lays out the basic structure, how a process works, flow elements, and a bunch more. And it also tells me what the key components are. And after priming the model, we now need to tell it that it needs to use the correct namespaces, prefixes, definitions, and something that they call BPMN DUI elements. Well, for that, we're going to use the following prompt. Create a BPMN XML flow of the process described below between the process tags. Make sure the right namespaces, prefixes, and I've also included these definitions, and BPMN DY elements are used for this process. And then 
here, as you can see, there's the process tag and then a random process. And then here is the closing tag. As you can see, this is in the same format as the process that we've created before. And then you can just hit enter. And it costs the new GPT model 68 seconds to come up with a response. And you can click on that and then you can see the reasoning behind it. So as you can see, crafting a BPN toolkit, crafting diagrams, mapping the process, assigning IDs. So all these kind of things are very important. And then it came back with an XML. And now I'm going through the XML to check if it is any good. And something what might happen is that GPT comes back with something that they call placeholders. You can see it here on the screen. It says additional BPMN edge elements for other sequence flows. But we don't want these placeholders. We want the complete output. So basically just tell the model that we don't want any placeholders and we want the full XML. So I said, do not use placeholders. And then again, it thought for 96 seconds, going through all the things that we've clarified before and it generated this XML. All right, so now we have our XML, but now we need to turn this into a .bpmn file. And for that, I've created a tool so that we can save it as a bpmn file that can be opened in any editor. So let's copy this code and then open up the tool that I've created. And there's already a bpmn diagram shown here. So over here, we're going to select what is already there, remove it, and then paste in the code that we got. And as you can see, already a bpmn starts displaying. So now we click on save and then press allow. And now we have a bpmn file created. And then in demo.bpmn.io, click on open, select the diagram that we've just created, diagram five, and then hit on upload. And there you have it, your own GPT created BPMN diagram. And the cool thing is that you can also go back to the chat with ChatGPT and ask for modification, like adding more tasks, different pools, and anything else that makes it match your process even closer. And to get an idea of what is possible, let's look at these diagrams that I've created. I basically started with a simple shoe purchase diagram selecting a shoe, adding it to the cart, check out, make a payment, and that's it. And another one is, for example, this pizza ordering process that looks like this. Start choosing a pizza, placing an order. This is a very simple BPMN diagram. But just to let you know, this was not possible with any other model before. But it's also possible to make more complex diagrams with multiple swim lanes. So let me show you that. Complaint has been received, it has been logged. And as you can see over here, we have a customer support department and a customer that actually notifies the department. And when you open it up in an editor like this, you can simply correct the mistakes or just add things by yourself. Like I mentioned before, I've created a tool that helps you create BPMN files and also validate it at the same time. And you can use this tool for free when you go to my website and you can see the link in the description below. Just to give you a quick tour of the application, you can basically enter any BPMN XML in the left side and then on the right side, the diagram will be created. You can zoom in and you can zoom out. Of course, reset it. And this is the function that we used before that is basically to save it as a .bpmn file. Awesome, right? And did you know that this is actually a absolute game changer? Because BPMN is a critical business standard used by millions of businesses around the world. So when you get really good at this, you can bring so much value to the organization. And that's exactly why I have created templates that help you deliver more consistent outputs every single time. Those are available via my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. And any contribution over there directly helps me to do more of these kinds of projects. Anyways, these models that are capable of handling logic are changing the AI landscape, making so much more possible. So if you want to see more game-changing ways of using ChatGPT, make sure to like and subscribe, leave your email on my website so that I can update you on any new findings, and then I'll see you in the next one. Hey friend, YouTube thinks that you want to see this video next, so make sure to check it out.